Greetings, and welcome to episode 113 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign. This, my friends, how we left it last time, where we have finally started now, my friends, to clear the northern part of uh, Italy. We really have almost got Italy under full control here. It's been a bitter fight. It really, really has to clear many of the Alps. The main fight around Rome was absolutely brutal because the Spanish threw everything they could at us here to try and dislodge us from there. But we managed to pinch them between the north and south push and it really was a wonderful, wonderful victory for us. And it's now brought us to this point now, as you can see, the Spanish are not in the finest of condition here at all. They really have suffered grave casualties here, but look at our armies here. These really are the absolute apogee, the pinnacle of our fighting force here in Italy. We've sent the best of the best into Italy to clear it as quickly as possible. Now, it's been a formidable fight. It really has taken a number of years to do so, but we're on the brink of bringing it fully under our control and ridding ourselves of the Spanish dominance here within the region. Now, further afield, as you can see here, in the distance here the fight with the poles goes on and you can see they've broken through a few of our lines here but we are going to deal with them you see so you can see this army here has been thoroughly crushed in a, an epic battle here on the front lines but there's many more to come look at the sheer magnitude here of poland it is vast but we've managed to sort of bring our our main focus into small pockets of resistance here and small pockets of sort of being able to guard specific areas upon our front line here and, and sort of can can dense our forces into one small sort of um, defensive force which enables us to really sort of grind down the poles and that's what you can see here but once we're un able to unleash all of these forces upon the poles which we are going to do through the Balkans I think it might turn the tide of the war here we might see Poland perhaps coming to the peace table for the meantime but for now we have to focus on what's ahead of us and that is defeating the rest and the remnants of the Spanish they are actually besieging Milan as well so we've got to be careful here that we don't overstep the market, become too overconfident. But first, the first battle, my friends, is going to be this one. I know that it's well in our favour, but I guarantee you we'll lose a great number of troops if we go the other way. We're going to fight this ourselves. You look at the sheer magnitude. General Charles, of course, one of our oldest generals. Look at the number of stars. You look at that. That's an absolute wonder, as you can see here. Look at this here. But that's actually been freed, so we've got the last remnants of these forces here. So we've actually managed to really dispose of the Spanish almost entirely. We might send one of these forces up here to, to, to rid ourselves less, but you can see here, just through here, that's almost a full Spanish force. So more battles to come. More battles to come, my friends. It really is. So what we are going to do is just deal with these, and then we shall see where it takes us. Don't think we are at war still here with the Venetians, and they've brought their forces up to full strength, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. We might send in perhaps an army group to deal with this and bring all of this under our control, because that trade route there is profitable, to say the very least. But let's begin the fight. Let's rid ourselves here of a, 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 been a real thorn in our side, more than a thorn in our side. It really has been a brutal campaign against here in Italy, to the point where we've had an army group stationed in the north of Italy for approximately a decade. That's how long the fight has been going on. We've had to battle our way from France into the northern part of Italy, fight our way all the way down to Rome. It has taken us at least 10 years with to do so, but now we're on the cusp of victory here in, in Italy. Now, the topography here of this battlefield is extraordinary because we're effectively almost on a cliff. This is a very large hill. Look, oh, what? Look at that there. Now, that's a proper, ma that's a mountain. Imagine being upon that. My goodness me. But, as you can see here, we've got this small village here on our left flank. And, actually, that's a long, that's a quite a large no man's land here. But, our deployment zone overlaps there is by a considerable amount. As you can see, there there is here, as ours goes past it by a considerable length here but look at the, this this grouping here this small forest here is ideal for hiding cavalry into charge the flanks and i think we'll be very aggressive here against them we do have a good amount of fire support <clears throat> lots of lots of um, as you can see marines here the highest caliber of troops you can possibly get they really are the absolute finest here and also look at this Royal Carassia Guards, some of the finest 
cavalry you'll find anywhere, including lances of brute in the charge. We've got some heavy cavalry as well. <clears throat> Probably need to exchange these for some cuirassiers, but still, they've done a wonderful job now. Heavy cavalry. I think we'll strike them from two sides. And let's just get our cavalry organized. We've got these gentlemen here now. Of course, they do have the rifles from which to fire from, but I think we'll just take them off and move them into melee mode. Those of you who have been experienced my campaigns for quite a while know my cavalry control is not the finest, especially when they're able to fire. And I think we'll definitely use the lances and this other Royal Carassia guard here, the 14th horse and the first lancer. So these gentlemen are actually the first lot of lancers. It's a wonder. On the right flank here, we might use the trees here as our as a way to, so we can flank around here and, and strike them in the flanks. They're hidden, which is an absolute wonder. We might even move out some some additional regiments. Perhaps these will then get some experience with the cavalry. Now, let's set ourselves on the front foot here. We can use this village to break up any advance they might have coming our way, but we will be moving out to attack them as well on the flanks. We'll hold a strong central front. Got the Marines here. We probably don't need all of these troops, if truth be told, but we're not going to take any chances. There's our line infantry here. The line infantry guards here as well, which we might actually send out as well. Let's get all these gentlemen together, and we'll send them out, I think, with the Lancers and the Royal Carassia guards here. Hidden, as you can see, strike hard into the flanks here of the Spanish. Really destroy this army here. And I think we'll just set these gentlemen back. Let's put the General Charles back here. I said, I'll, let's set these gentlemen up. I think perhaps on the apex here of this hill. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot more 24, 30, I beg your pardon, sir. We've got some 32 pounders, dare I say. Two lots of 32 pounders. They're very rare indeed. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, sir. The blazes is going on here. And let's bring them into shrapnel. Shrapnel shot is an absolute brute. Let's move these gentlemen over here. So we've got wonderful fire support. I mean, the fire support here is exceptional. Look at those 32 pounders. Look at that. That's a proper cannon right there. Now, we've got, I think we'll have Marines up in the front here. We'll probably have the early Marines, as it were. They've got 8, 23rd, and 22nd regiments. I set them quite far forward here. Very strong defence. Again, we're not going to become complacent. That's a wonder. And I think the late, the late Marines... So we've got a strong central front. We'll put the, the 18th foot on the right. Let's bring these... Oh, look at that. We've got the 25th. We'll put the gentleman on the left here. As you can see, we're right on the... We're right the demarcation line here, but we're going to take the fight. Look at what the blazes is going on here. Look at this line here. What is that? Gentlemen, please. Thank you. Straight lines, please, gentlemen. Straight lines. Thank you. And let's put, we got the 626th Regiment here. Again. Really strong defence here. We're not going to be caught on the hop. I think we'll send these regiments out as well. We're going to, as I said, strike very hard here on the flanks. I think that's all we've got in terms of our defence, but that's all we need. These are going to be more than enough to defend what's coming our way because we're going to be moving out as well. I think we might... Yeah, let's send all these gentlemen out here. We've got this to... Do. As you can see, the hill here is actually blocking the line of sight for the for the Spanish. So if we are savvy enough here, we might. I think we might send these two regiments out on the left flank as well. A pincer movement, my friends, as was the case in Spain in in Italy in general. We are now going to 
do so on the battlefield. Let's begin. That's very close indeed. But let's not let's not dilly dally here. Let's move, gentlemen. Oh, that's a brute. Let's get in behind them here. Here we go. It would appear they've spotted us here. They're going to come for us here. With 20 men, I don't think so, sir. Let's deal with them. Let's get the lancers in there. The, the, the charge of the lancers is absolutely brutal. Look at that. They're gonna go. They're gonna go. Let's move, lads. Look at this. The elite of British Empire. Look at they've gone. Let's get rid of all of them here. Look at they come. Let's set a trap. Look lively, lads. Look lively. They're going to send them all in here. Oh, they've got really crass air guards as well. Let's deal with them. Let's get right on top of them here. We could probably pick them off one at a time here. We're at a little bit of our range here, but that's fine. Look at that, another regiment gone. That's a beautiful sight. Just look at that. Stakes right behind them. They're very smart indeed, sir. Look at that. They're going to be broken up here by this. We can get behind them. As soon as these open up here, it's going to be an absolute... There it is. Actually, let's move these up to here. And box them in. Move it, lads. We've got to beat them to the punch here. Why, gentlemen, are you not firing yet? Thank you. This is just going on here. There's court martial and hard, yes, sir. Oh. No, we'll just cover. We'll just cover the rear by here. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Now, that is monstrous, gentlemen. Going to cover the bases here. We're just going to cover every flank here. Gentlemen, double time, please. Now, let's pick them apart. Oh, we've got to be careful here. We've got to be really careful. Ceasefire. 
decimated him. Absolutely decimated. That's a complete evisceration. We'll continue, I think, just for the moment. Let's finish what we, just, what we started here. Lances in. What a fight we've had. Look at that. Absolutely nothing. Gen no, gentlemen. Yeah, I've got to deal with these. Don't do it. Oh, they've gone. Joy to see it really has. I'm not sure where they're going, but yeah, please, gentlemen, yep, find find your way. enough we've done our duty here yes of course sir. now that it was a wonderful battle we only lost 40 men they lost a lot look at that statistics here heavy cavalry look at the 24 pounders wow they did a good job there the marines of course i should spell the doom yes there it is gone now we've cleared this left flank here look at all these forces that we've now freed up I think, yeah, these are all replenishing here. As you can see, the battle before previously was pretty brutal. We did have a force behind us here, which we have dealt with yeah. very well. Thank you very much. Yeah, look at that. The amount of um, the amount of military forces we've got here in Italy is extraordinary. That's there. Here it is. Giri here is all that's left, and that's a powerful force still. We're still at war here, so we're going to keep these these. <clears throat> These gentlemen here, let's just... Uh, that's not going to be too bad, is it? Let's be honest. And we're going to keep these two forces just together here. We'll move into Bologna. And look at that. Look at the green jackets here. That's a wonder. Irish volunteers. Horse guards. Uh, these, uh, that's a wonderful force. But I think this force here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, look at that. That is an absolute wonder. We've got some phenomenal forces here. We really do. <coughs> Uh, General Lincoln, I believe one of these here. Your orders, your Majesty. An awesomeness. General Senshi Pat as well here, who is one of our. This is going to be a defensive. We, we're going to hold on to Rome for definite. So we, this force <clears throat> under General Lincoln will be moved out. We're, we're going to build a defensive force for Rome, which will just stay here permanently because you just never know. It's only just a. Hop and a skip across for Spain. But look at that. We've got Madrid. We've held on to Madrid for a long time. But they've surrounded us now, as you can see here. But they can't move in just yet because they know they'll get absolutely... Oh, good grief. That's a powerful force. Especially with the Walloon Guards. That's a, this is a powerful force. This is not. These are effectively pirates. And this force here. But we've got more than enough here. We've got an army group. A very powerful army group indeed. Look at that. To deal with these gentlemen yes. and there as well general raptor so these forces are more than enough to deal with whatever the spanish might throw at us although they do have a considerable amount available to themselves 
the Wudloon Guards are always a problem because they are absolutely wonderful fighting troops. And they've also got a fleet here loaded here with an army and another art of fleet here. So again, we don't want to become too complacent. They've also got another fleet here as well. So again, we don't want to overstretch just two yet, but we are in control effectively of this here. What's our income? 11,000 here. We do have a good bank as well, thankfully, but I want to unleash these forces onto the Balkans. So we need here, what we do need here, if I'm not already recruiting, no, is a defensive force. So I think we'll have some line infantry. Are there any? Oh, there's some blunderbusses. Look at that. We'll get one blunderbuss as well. Do we need sharpshooters? We'll definitely have some cavalry as well, I think. Just to make sure it's well-rounded. and We'll definitely have some more cannon. This force here will be moved in. Let's just get ourselves a general as well ready. And we've got 147,000 in the bank. We're at war also with Venice. We might move in against them. Yes, sir. We might even send in the green jackets here. Mind you, the fight here will draw in this garrison for definite. They've got a lot of cannon. But they've got a lot of Swiss Guard line infantry here. And they are wonderful troops. But not enough to stop us, I don't think. So we might just send across, because we can go across here as well, and also the bridge. I think we'll just earmark these gentlemen, this army group here, to move against Venice. I'd like to get Venice because it'll give us all of Italy under our control, but also give us easy access to, for an assault both this way from the north, but also assault directly across, heading eastwards. So we can come from north to south, hit Zagreb through Venice, and then we can hit Bosnia and Serbia from Naples and from Central Italy itself. I know we've got this down here as well. But we would be aiming for cutting off any reinforcements coming from Istanbul, because remember, Poland is exceptionally powerful. I mean, it really is one of the great titans. And as you can see here, they are just going to... We gave them a south fashion here. Yeah, look at this army here. This army's taking a little bit of a... Oh, look at that there. See, they're assaulting us here. So as you can see, they're assaulting us here as well in this fort. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn upon them. As you can see here, we've also moved an army group in. And this force here, under General Zavoski, was fighting a brutal fight here to hold them off. Which he has done here. This is the remnants of that army. We do have Stuttgart under our control. We might move this army up here. Because it's a very powerful army indeed. But we probably do need some more recruits here. Let's bring... <clears throat> two more line infantry into here. We, this army has been more than useful, I think, fighting along here. They're not going to trouble us here just yet, I don't think. They've got to come through here. So we might just move this army from Stuttgart into this into here into the fight here this is where most of the fight is going to be so let's just move this army here we can then perhaps move another army in I'll keep that army there to be honest with you but this army we need another army here and that army is going to come from Amsterdam and look at that let's prepare that army We've also got a powerful force here in Paris. And of course we do have this army here as well. And we've also got armies here in Britain, but only only now has Blund Only now we've got this freed up here. I just want to keep the spending to a to a decent amount here. We've got this arm this this force here is trapped. We are putting together another fleet here, as you can see, to deal with it. But there's a, just a monstrous amount, and around Warsaw is just a, a huge amount of Polish forces. But if they move against this army, um, why have we not replenished this army here? That is an absolute disgrace. This army has not been replenished at all, it should be, because it's going to be, it looks like we're going to be assaulted pretty quickly. So 
we might have to move one of these armies down to deal with it. That's a powerful army here, General Bruce. But again, it would draw in this force as well. So there's lots of ramifications if we just move and attack. You've got to consider what's going to come in after you. Because we can wear them down. And I think we're, we're going to have to take this fight here. Because are we going to draw in this force and these forces as well? Yes, we are. We're going to draw in all of these here. And that's going to be pretty brutal for us. I don't think we'll do that just yet. I think this episode will just set ourselves fair here. And let's just make sure we've got everything. Look at that. We've got another Spanish force here. Let's aim in quite clearly here for Egypt. But we will not allow them. And of course we're at war with Russia. So let's just... Yeah, we've got the guns going up here. Probably for this army here, if I'm not mistaken. But we do need more cavalry. We can recruit from here. That's excellent. We need more cavalry. And we're also, I think, putting together another naval, yeah, naval fleet here. Peace with these, with the multis here, but I think. Let's all go into the New World. Now, the New World, we're allied with the United States, which have, this is a wonderful, wonderful for us, to be honest with you. And I think the United States lost Falmouth, if I'm not mistaken, to this... Quebecian force, and look at this here. The Quebec haven't given up without a fight, and this has been hit here as well, which is concerning, and here. <clears throat> I hope the United States can... Yeah, I think they will, to be honest with you. Looks like they're taking a fight to the, to the native Indians as well. We're at war with, of course, Louisiana. They've given us some problems over the past. But we're not going to get dug into any fights here. We've also, as you can see, we should move into Santa Domingo. Which I would like to do. We've got a powerful enough force here with which to do so. I wouldn't mind. I wonder. If we could find out what's going on here. We do have this force here, which for some reason is not replenishing. Why? I mean, all of these forces, all these in this navy to put at full strength. See, these are the things. I'm just, just clearing up a few things here. We're at peace with the Mukal Empire. And the Mukals are at peace with us. We do have some good trade with them. Look at that, they've got nearly 80,000 coming in from this trade line alone. New Spain is quite a powerful ally of theirs in terms of the income. My goodness me, they're so rich at the Mughal Empire. But that would be a wonderful island to take here. Look at this. Gem minefield, they've got a weaver's cottage. Plantation here, they've got some rice paddies here. Taking this off the Mughal Empire here would not off them, but off off the actual continent itself, I meant. Would not be too bad. They are incredibly powerful though, my goodness me. Not the finest troops, but they've just got the sheer quantity would be extraordinary to fight against. And they've got all of this up here as well. <clears throat> they've effectively taken over Afghan they have taken Afghanistan. But they haven't, there's Afghanistan here, but You've got the Russians down here as well. Look at Russia. It's just monstrous. But they are losing here to Sweden. Sweden, of course, sort of come around the around the the heat around here, but they've lost. The Archangel has fallen here, but they've got Moscow as well, and Poland is just an absolute monster. But <clears throat> I think well, the next fight we'll take is this one here, my friends. And we're not going to, this is going to draw in a significant amount of these forces, including all these, maybe even these as well, by default. It's almost like that domino effect where they all just start coming into effect. Unless, of course, we move this force as well up. And a General Bruce. Mind you, I'd like to leave that powerful force there. Ooh, 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 ooh look at that. We might move this force up here and leave these two more prominent forces here. I think we might do that just to reinforce this sector here. Leaving these two powerful armies here. We also do need to make sure we got them. Yeah, that's fine. That army's going to be complete in a moment. So I think we move this force back here just to add a little bit more weight to the defense. And now we're going to sally forth. Ah, as we thought. Look at that. Now, 
we got 3,569. Okay, we've lost a few men because we've been besieged. That is, they've taken a real hammering here. Um, 194 cavalry? Good. What? What? 225 cavalry? My goodness me, I think the battle might already be won. Two, four, we've got nearly 600 cavalry. Wow. But my friends, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We'll take this fight next episode. I do apologize for this, the bre the brevity of this particular episode, but a bit busy behind the scenes, my friends. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. What should we do here around Poland? Should we push in ourselves and start taking the fight to them, or should we just stay on the defensive, wear them down, then move in? But thank you, my friends, for all your wonderful advice and support. As always, please be safe, whatever you're doing. But until next time, bye for now.